And here's my find for the day. This is a Sony CD player. I went out ham festing today, something I do once a year. Although I'm not a ham radio operator, I still enjoy going to a ham fest that I was introduced to many, almost a decade ago, many years ago. And I like to go and walk through the flea market because you never know what you might find, and you certainly will find things that are useful to more than just ham radio operators. So anyway, I found an elderly gentleman who was selling this Sony CD player. He had it marked $20. Offered him 10 he accepted 15 The thing is immaculate. There's barely a mark on it. There's two light scratches on the top. There's not even a mark on the display window at all. The display itself is nice and bright. It plays perfectly. The buttons aren't even worn or anything. I mean, it is immaculate. This is a CDP-491, made in June of 1991. Made in Japan by Sony. Got the remote. And I would swear to you, if these are not the original batteries, they've got to be close because these are Sony Corporation batteries. Sony Battery Corporation of Japan. I'm going to change those out. It still seems to work just fine with them. Or at least it did when I tried it. I can't... No, I can't eject the disc from here, so... In fact, there's really... Nope. Nope, those batteries are completely dead, so I better get them out of there before they leak. I thought it worked. Maybe I dreamed that. But what's even more amazing, he had the book for it. Tells me all about operating it. He kept everything. A special Sony offer. Probably a pretty big deal in 1991 to take four CDs free of charge, plus shipping and handling with membership in Columbia House. So there was definitely, there was definitely a catch. Here is the original sales ticket. This thing was manufactured in June of 1991. He purchased it from Silo Electronics. I don't know if that's a chain or where that is. I'm not familiar with that name, but it was purchased on September 14th of 1991. Even the copies are in here. That's pretty incredible. The Sony Partnership. I imagine that's to return the warranty card in. Sony's limited warranty, important safeguards, the most important component for your new Sony compact disc player is something you'll never hear. I suppose you could play a credit card, but it'd probably only make a crunching noise. Sony partnership. It's an extended warranty. Free Sony CD player calibration clinic, a free CD jazz sampler, video equipment rentals, toll-free hotline for help or information, and Sony service centers, a thousand locations nationwide. I couldn't understand at the time this old man really acted like he almost didn't want to sell this player. And I was kind of surprised at the time, and then he found the instruction book, and only when I got home from the ham fest did I actually look inside and see that he had really kept this thing in just top-notch, unbelievable shape. And I'm going to do my best to keep it that way. All of these things are going into my file cabinet in a file marked especially for this CD player. But I find it kind of cool to find this kind of stuff because, you know, to, to get the history about what something had with it when it was new... About half a year of normal operation can be expected when using the R6 or size AA batteries. Yep, those probably need to be replaced right away. They haven't leaked a drop, though. Sony quality, I guess. But to find something like this in great original shape that's been taken good care of and still has all the original documentation with it is just way, way beyond cool. So there you have it. Ordinarily, I wouldn't make a video about a CD player unless I was fixing it, but this thing needs nothing. It is in perfect condition, and it has all the documentation and stuff that it would have come with. In fact, the only thing that I didn't get were the patch cables that it would have sold with when it was new. And here's my other set of finds. Well, just one find, really. I'm over at the Roach Palace now, and this is the other thing I picked up. This is a Technics Compact Disc Changer SLPD888. It's a five-disc changer, 
And I have reason to believe, although it is dinged up on the top, dented in up there, things like that, certainly fixable. I imagine a little bit of time with a hammer and a wood block would have it looking new again. Either that or I'll enlist, I'll commission Bizarre Furhead, which sounds so much uh, more polite than to say, I'll tell him to do it or else. Anyway, this thing was listed at $20, marked down to 12 offered and accepted 10 and I wonder, I truly do wonder if it's ever been used because the display window is very clean, the characters are all of uniform brightness, but the bag of goodies that I got with it, I got the manual for it, the remote control, the power cord was also bundled up in here too with a zip tie, and this bag of goodies had never ever been opened. I went garage sailing around town and that's where I got the ridiculously huge Kenwood speakers. These are Kenwood KSH-52s. I think they have a 165 watt maximum input rating, so it's kind of ridiculous to drive them with a little tiny stereo receiver. Probably rather mean to do that to the stereo receiver, although it doesn't seem to mind. Anyway, this CD changer just works beautifully. Changes discs smoothly, comes up with the index quickly and starts playing right away. And the speakers sound good. They were marked ten dollars. I offered five and that was what was accepted. I think I did all right for five bucks. <laughs> Not to brag or anything, but those are pretty nice. You can kind of see how it switches discs here. It actually has a multicolor display here. Yes, one of the speakers is upside down. I didn't know that when I was putting it here. But neither one of them's been blown, even though the cabinets are pretty rough. And there's disc three. Oops, I think that may... Nope, that's disc three. Okay, it's all good. Don't actually know what's on disc three. There we go. Skip to something that starts with music right away. For a little amp, it does a nice job driving these big speakers. But there you have it, folks. Those were my ham-festing finds for today. Thank you for watching.